this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm having a feast. <laughs> I've um, got some good news. My grandson came through the surgery fine. And him and my daughter are, and they're taking a nap now. He's going to be out of it for a while. And I've got, um, she's going to be here tonight. And a friend of mine's coming over. And, um, the baby's daddy, of course, and the kids, and I'm just going to use, make some, uh, <laughs> Mexican food <laughs> using a lot of canned stuff that I've had in my pantry. I seem to be, um, <sighs> hoarding food again, so I've got to get rid of some of this, and the first thing that I'm doing is I've got my, um, ground chuck on my cooktop and I've got about a pound and a half of ground chuck cut up with one onion and so I'm fixing enchiladas and rice and refried beans and I'm going to show you the recipe I've just got to get the cooktop started and then get that going, and I'll bring you back. Well, one more thing I do want to tell you. Um, <laughs> I went to the doctor the other day and had an echogram done on my heart. And all this time, they have been saying that I had an enlarged heart, and my heart was failing, and all this, and... I went to the cardiologist the other day, and they did an echogram in um, the office, and believe it or not, there is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with my heart. Nothing. It's not enlarged. He said I had a very strong heart. So, naturally, that kind of <laughs> made me cry because I've been feeling like I was on death's door um, for weeks and weeks now because of this. And so I'm really happy that there isn't anything wrong with my heart. And um, I've lost 25 pounds. I'm not losing. It's, you know, I'm just not losing anymore. But I am celebrating tonight because... Um, <laughs> It was wonderful news to know that there was absolutely nothing wrong with my heart. Um, no valves, nothing. The, my blood's pumping fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. So the doctor that told me that in 2007, I'm very, very upset about it. Very upset. Um, because... I don't know. I mean, if you knew the whole story, it's just a, a bunch of crap. But anyway, just to let you all know, my grandson's okay and my heart's okay. So, <laughs> I'm here and I'm going to show y'all how to fix a Mexican feast for everyone. So, I'll bring you back in a little while. Okay, wanted to bring you back. I've got my um, ground chuck and my onion cooking it's on 375 degrees on my um p on my pick pic precision induction cooktop and i've just been stirring it and then i'm gonna put the lid back on it and let that cook and then right here i have um <laughs> a package of Spanish flavored rice and a package of Mexican rice that I have put in here with three cups of water and two tablespoons of um, shed, the shed spread light margarine and I'm going to put this in the microwave for 15 minutes and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm sorry I'm having to bring you back and stages with this but it's just a lot of different dishes and I'm trying to get them all done um 
This is my refried beans. I have <laughs> two cans of Old Del Paso. One is just um, fat-free refried beans, and the other one is spicy fat-free refried beans. And I have um, Mexican-style chili, and I have mild cheddar. And I'm going to spread these, put some of these on top of the um, refried beans. I've got my oven preheating at 350, and as soon as I get the cheese on here, I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the refried beans, and you can hear Caden in the background crying. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he's in pain, but she, the doctor, they don't give, um, pain medication for babies, so he's only able to take, um, Tylenol. But here's my refried beans in my casserole dish, and, well, that really, actually, this is a bread, um, dish, but, um, I have the two types of cheese on it, the mild cheddar and the Mexican style, and I'm going to put this in the oven and let all the cheese melt and this get hot, and next I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix the enchiladas, so I'll bring you right back. Okay, now I'm getting ready to make the filling for my um, enchiladas, and, oops, cut it down too high, let me get this back up, okay, it's, I got it on 230 degrees, and I'm going to take it up to 270, alright, and what I have here is, these are green chilies, this right here, I cut them, I cut them up, and I saved the juice, and I'm putting that in here, I'm going to have to turn this back up, I'm sorry, okay, it's back up to 375 now, and I'm going to use half of these chilies, Stir this around in here, and then I've got the Rotel Original Diced Tomatoes and Green Chilies. I'm going to use about half of this can, and then I have Old El Paso Medium Enchilada Sauce, and I'm going to use about half of this. And then, I have cream of mushroom soup, because you want this to be thick, and you can use anything, but who doesn't like mushrooms? Well, I know a lot of people that don't like mushrooms, but we do. So, I'm putting the cream of mushroom soup in here. Like I said, you can use any soup that you want, any cream soup that you want to thicken this up. Um, but I'm just using uh, cream of mushroom. And I let it out. And you don't add water to it or anything. It's already, um, like I said, you want it to thicken it. And so, you can see... I kind of want to add a little bit of um, taco seasoning to this, but I'm not sure whether I should or not. But there, I'm going to let this cook and cook down, and I do think I'm going to put maybe a tablespoon of taco seasoning in here, and I'm going to let this cook and simmer and all the spices and the all the veggies and the soups and everything meld in together and I'll bring you back. Okay, I wanted to bring you back. I did put um, about a tablespoon of taco um, seasoning in here. The um, Ortega taco seasoning mix. I put about a tablespoon of that in here, 
and it's still pretty runny. It's a lot runnier than I want it to be. So I'm going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm making a slurry of cornstarch and water, which I put about two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch in with water, and we'll see if that thickens it up some. Let's hope it does. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Again, y'all are really being my guinea pigs. So, as soon as this thickens up some more and I get ready to put these in the shells, put this in the enchilada shells, I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm ready to make the enchiladas now. And I've just got a, these are the small um, corn tortillas. And I've just got them, I heated them up in the microwave. And I have my casserole, well, a casserole dish here. This has been oiled with the um, olive oil spray. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of this, some of the enchilada mix in the middle. And then I'm going to put some Mexican style cheese on top of that. And then I'm going to roll it up. And I'm just laying it in here just like this. Um, and then I'm just going to fill this pan up as much as I can with these. And... Put the enchilada sauce in and then put the Mexican cheese in. And when I get this pan filled up with the enchiladas, I'll bring you back. Okay, here they are. I think that they kind of like fell apart because I've had them frozen. Um, but they're all in there. <laughs> And what I did was there was still some of the hamburger stuff, um, the ground beef stuff left. So I mixed it with the other half a can of the Rotel and the other half a can of the enchilada sauce and the other half of the green chilies. And now I'm going to pour this down over, he over these. Smear it around as much as I can. Get a bit over here on these. And then I'm going to use the rest of the Mexican style cheese, which isn't very much that I have left. And then I've got mild cheddar that I'm going to put all on here. And like I said, my oven's been on now for a while. The refried beans are in the oven with the cheese on them. And now I'm going to... Um, put this in the oven and let this bake until all this cheese melts and looks good and I'll bring you back when it's all done. Okay, I'm back and here's the enchiladas, here's the bean dip, and here's the rice. And I just wanted to show you the finished dishes. And then I'm going to plate them up, and when I get them plated up, I'll bring you back. Okay, here's my plate. I'm getting ready to give this a, a taste and see what it tastes like. 
well, if I can get some, I've cut the cheeses. Well, this just doesn't want to cut. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use my fingers. <laughs> That's good, and the bean, the bean dip with all the cheese. Look at all the cheese on there. Mmm, this is good. If you like my home pantry recipes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you have a good night. Bye.